Okay, so Hearthstone Deck Tracker. I'm gonna play a game. I wanted to show you while you play. But we won't do the whole game. I'll cut it off and then go into um, how to save. Some of you are new players. What deck do I play? What do I use? You can see I'm gonna get Flame Imp, Iron Beak Owl, and Ruby and Egg for my first picks. All right. Gul'dan versus Garrosh. Victory is death. Your soul shall so be mine. So this is the one that I saved. Okay, I added to the program Hearthstone Deck Tracker, and it also shows that I'm gonna verse a warrior. Eleven and what? He's fifty-eight percent win rate. Don't know how accurate that is as far as who that is, but this is what's in my deck. Like, if you make a new deck or you're using a deck that you got off the web, um, you know, you're not sure, you're new, you don't know what to use, what's good to play, how do I play this deck? This is a good way to do that. So, I can see all the cards that are in my hand, or the all cards that I have possibility of getting, and then how to play those cards. So you can see when the card is in your hand, uh, may or may not win this. That's not the point. I just want to show you exactly how it works in game so that you can see um, This deck has a 51% win rate I... So you can see he mulliganed that one. That's what the M stands for. He kept that one. He mulliganed that one. The other one didn't show, but it would have said C for coin, that he had a coin. So you say, oh, did he play his coin yet? Well, yeah, he did, because it doesn't show C up there. And I didn't get, you know, I didn't get the coin, so... Otherwise, it would show coin up here. So that's another nice thing. But you can see... It's very nice, very handy. Part by... So we can see, like later on, let's say for example, you're like, well, damn, did he use an execute already? So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the program itself. I will leave a link in the description below as to where you can obtain the program, the current most current release. And websites that support it. Um, the two features that I'm going to show you basically today um, uh, first of all, how to make a new deck, and then I'm going to use by using the um, import from web and export to Hearthstone and import from game constructed. Okay, this is in beta, but it does work. I um, have used it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to use that. So, once you've obtained it, um, you can see um, I've already listed down. Once you've downloaded the program, you can see here it shows all your cards here. You can use the program and you don't have to have Hearthstone actually opened. So, you can create your own decks. You can be on a website and, the, and this at the same time without being on the game. If that's how you choose to do it. So... Let's say, first of all, let's say you have a, uh, you always want to start out, okay, on this screen right here. Um, basically, the reason why you want to start out on this screen right here is that's the default area. Um, so, we're going to click New. And we're going to click Mage, and we're going to click Constructed. All right. So we're going to go to my collection. We're going to go to Mech Mage, for example. All right. There's the Mech Mage deck. You can see it. So you open up your Mech Mage deck. This is a deck that you already have saved. How do I add it to? my program. Well, you simply open it up like this. Click done. Just open it up for a second. Click done. Click back. 
go to this page here. Then get to your program. All right, we've chose new. We've chose mage. We chose constructed. We click import from game. Now, if I do this incorrectly, that will be grayed out. It will not work. So, if it's grayed out, you didn't do it correctly. You didn't follow the directions as I explained them. Now, from game constructed. You click it, and boom. It says only 23 out of 30 cards. Alright, so... Now what we're going to need to do, 23 out of 30, so it didn't do all of the cards. Again, when I showed this to you, it says beta, so it's not completely finished yet, but it's still better than having to, so 23 out of 30, I don't have to enter as many yet. So it's still working okay. The other two items, to Hearthstone and From Web, are working fine. This actually is in beta, so they're not completed. Uh, they've not completed the testing on that. So 23 out of 30 cards worked. Now, all we need to do is simply figure out which ones did not work. So you can go ahead and open the program back up. Go in here to Mech Mage. Go ahead and click the this here. And basically go and look here and see what it is. Let's see, move it this like that. Alright, so we've got 23. So basically you go in and just look and see which cards are in there. Now you can look. Dr. Boom. Alright, so you're going to have to manually go in and look. Piloted Shredder, I need another one of those, so right click it, we'll add another one. Uh, Mechanical Yeti, that's fine. Goblin Blast Mage, we need another Blast Mage, right click it. By the way, if you left click, it'll take it away. If you right click it, it will add a new one. Uh, Fireball, we need another Fireball. Tinkertown Technician is good. Uh, we need another Spider Tank, we need another Harvest Golem. Uh, Snow chugger, we need another. So the problem is it will go and only take one of the cards when there's duplicates, what it appears to be the problem so far in the beta. So not that big of a deal. Uh, Mech Warper, we don't have two. Anoyatron, we need another. Frostbolt, we need another. Uh, Arcane Explosion. Don't even think we have that card in there. No. So, left click it. Cogmaster, we need another. Clockwork Gnome, we need another. Mirror Image, left click, we didn't have it. Arcane Missiles, we didn't have it. Alright, so, now it's done. So, we have imported it into there. We will give it a name. We've named it Mech Mage. Oh, oops. You can see I'm not a very good typer. And then you would click Save. It would save it, and you'd be done. Now, I already have it saved, so I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to do it again. Well, I guess I could. But you click Save and it will show Mech Mage. So you can see it's listed down here. So that's if you've, for the ones that you already have completed. Now, what if, let's move this back up where it was. What if you don't have it saved? You're going to go to Hunter, choose. Alright, so once, let's say you created it 
inside the program itself, you go with sell out. Face hunter sell out. You click export to Hearthstone. It says create an empty hunter deck, which is what we've already done. Click export. Don't move your mouse. And that's it. All done. All complete. That quick, that easy, that simple. Now let's say uh, I want to play something different. I want to play the Death Rattle one instead. You click on that, you're done playing it, and then you click again, export to Hearthstone. Click export. It will remove all of those and add the new deck, Death Rattle. Okay, there we go. All done. Close it, delete it. Uh, we're gonna do another new deck. We're gonna do a druid this time. So, I showed you export to Hearthstone. Showed you import from game constructed. You can also import from the arena. So if there's an arena deck that you used, um, you'd be able to use that. It also saves all of your cards. It will leave a list on the right hand side. You'll see the website when you download it. It'll have pictures and everything to show you uh, what can be used on it. But the next thing I wanted to show you is how to import from the web. There are several websites that will allow you to import directly into the program so that you can quickly create them and save them. That's where I got a lot of mine from. A lot of my cards, you say, well, I'm new to Hearthstone, I don't know what deck to use, what's a good one to use, what are people using right now? So you simply, very easily, you're gonna go click, I already know what I'm gonna make, so I'm gonna click new, and I'm gonna make a Druid deck, and it is gonna be constructed. So you click the constructed choice, all right, so that's done, and that's ready. Now, you're going to bring up um, Hearthbone, okay? Hearthbone.com, I will leave, like I said, a link in the description. And this site here is nice because you can go here and it will show you popular decks of the week. These change every week, people create these decks, what decks are people using, how many cards it costs or dust, I'm sorry, how many dust it costs to create those decks. Some of them are very expensive, like this Ramp Druid. I'm going to choose the Ramp Druid, and the reason why is I want to show you if an error occurs. If you do opt to create the deck without being in Hearthstone and then import it, and you do not have that card, you will get an error. And I wanted to show you that is why I did this. So we're going to go with Ramp Druid. And it called it Rank 9 Legend in 24 hours, right? So, you can see in 24 hours, he got to Rank 9. In 24 hours with this, supposedly. So, all you got to do is simply, let me drop this down so you can see. Click here. Now, generally, it's going to save it already, but you're going to hit Control-C after that's highlighted. And then come back to here. Then you're going to click Import from Web. It will bring up a window, and you can see that it already shows that in there, where it's going to go to get it from. You're going to click OK. OK. 
So now you've imported it into the program itself. So basically you've created the um, deck in here. Now, you can see I've already done this before because it shows two rank nine legend in 24 hours. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say edit deck. You can edit the deck, you can edit the name, you can delete it, you can archive it. All right, you can click on, let's say I don't want it named that. I just want it called ramp and that's it. Well, we'll go with this one. Ramp Druid. Set. Okay, change it to Ramp Druid. So you see I've done that as well. Right click. Delete. Yes. Right click. Uh oh, this one. Right click. Delete. Yes. Okay, Ramp Druid. Now we're going to export to Hearthstone. We already have the Druid deck set up as I showed you before. So I'm just gonna click export. You can see it changed the name to Ramp Druid. And it's that quick, it's that simple, and it's that easy. But you notice there's only 28 cards, right? The following cards were not found. You need Old Shredder, Sneed's Old Shredder, 1600 dust to create it. So there's an error. Also, for some reason, there's 28. It's missing another card. So we got to figure out which one that is. Um, Kalthazard, Sneeds, Old Shredder. You know, we know Sneeds is missing, but which other one did it forget and not put in? An Innovate. There we go. So, 29. So, that's pretty much how to use the export, how to use the import. As you can see, it's not perfect, but very useful. Once you get actually into the game and you start playing the game, it's very nice to see all of your cards. You can set it up however you want. All your cards on the left hand, all the opponent's cards on the left hand side, yours on the right. You can have them both. You can change the size. Very nice, very easy easy program to keep track of all of your cards I will let's see if I can't load uh, deck basically if you're gonna click on let's say um, Tontorino, save. All right, there we go. Now it shows up. So we can see this is what it will look like. You can see all the cards that you have in the deck. They will be highlighted in green if they're in your hand. They will be highlighted in, I believe it's like an orange color. Um, if they're going to, if, sometimes you actually see the card that you're going to get before it actually shows you. <laughs> Um, when you're playing, but on the left hand side will show your opponents and on the right hand side it shows yours or however you set it up actually But any questions comments thumbs up thumbs down If I can help any more information that you'd like to see from the Hearthstone deck tracker based on export import I'm not a pro with it by any means, but I have been using it for a little while and uh, wanted to share, see what, uh, see if I wasn't able to help everyone or anyone. Thanks for watching. Until next time.